hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, welcome back to my sh she shed um, as I promised I have some Christmas decorations some upcycling that I have in mind so I'll run through them quickly and then I will be doing individual videos with step-by-step -step how to do it first one I have these balls here they are actually old-fashioned light fittings as you can see there two of them are from own house this one was in our bedroom ceiling believe it or not this tiny little thing with this around it really weird I'll put up a picture for you to understand. The fitting. Anyway, this month of late, I'm going to do a Christmas bulb. Uh, this one is quite a small size. These ones are very good. This one is quite big. Last year I made two with great success. Um, so I'm looking forward to do more because I have a very very big Christmas tree um, so I like to hang at the widest the bottom bit of the tree if you know what I mean I like to hang the big ones the big bulbs and then as the tree narrows up I use smaller bulbs just the way I like to decorate so last year I left them as they are white some people call it milky glass that's the kind of thing it is. This year I decided to judge it up a bit more. So I'm going to use black, uh, red spray to spray some of them in red. Uh, usually I decorate with red and gold. I'm quite traditionalist when it comes to Christmas decorations. So uh, you can use whatever you have in this case I have here a little just take away box once the ball is sprayed red I'll spray this gold or metallic and then I glue them together like so okay I don't know if you guys can see and put a little hook in there on the top and that's a giant Christmas bulb done for very little uh, another thing I have is this that is part of the was part of our bedroom light fitting um, at the moment this cream I think I'm going to spray it gold and add some bits of Christmas you know I think they call them Christmas fillings tree fillings something like that so I think it will be really nice to just hang it on the wall and create something quite nice I can fill these empty spaces with some foliage and I think it will work out really nice another thing I have last year I asked Mr. B to do this for me. This is out of a pallet. Mr. B done this Christmas tree for me to have it in the in the outside. I got bought this bow. I think it was in the range. So we have this usually outside the house. You just cut the shape from a pallet, just one side pallet. If I turn around, you will see just one side pallet. Um, and uh, you have a lovely upcycle pallet Christmas tree. I have this and I want to replicate that. So I'm going to cut, it's going to be a much smaller one because I want to do a little one to put in the porch for my Christmas decorations. I will probably actually 
not paint this one um, so I will be showing how to do that as well I have these two old drawers I think they are left behind by the previous owner of this house actually uh, this one I think it came from Queen's B basement so I've been saving them because I want to use them in something uh, came up with an idea if I put it up like so and uh, create a winter scene inside here and I can have this on top of any table or a shelf unit anything like that or if you want to even hang it on the wall um, it is okay too it's possible too it's everyone individual taste but yes I'm not quite sure yet how am I going to do it but that's the idea so for today we're going to concentrate on the giant Christmas tree bulbs <laughs> getting the idea so it's the end of the day it's getting quite cold and dark here um, so I'm going to leave them here to dry and once they are dry um, I will be putting them together uh, for these big ones I usually use or at least last year I used a normal tuna tin um, special for these big ones the size is just perfect Last year I left them as they are silver. I may spray them gold this year for these ones. So I'll just have to go to my recycle bin and get two tins of tuna. Um, and I will be able to set these ones up. So I'll be showing you how you. So the spray paint is now dry. We have this little one. Um, medium sized one like I said I'm using this one I have sprayed I'm going to use the hot glue gun to attach them and this big red one the other middle medium sized one as I came into my she shed it just rolled off the worktop and smashed on the floor so th that's done um, I sprayed a tin of tuna black because I'm addicted to matte black uh, and again I'm going to use the hot glue gun to attach before I do that When I was spraying the tin, I sprayed <coughs> a little hookers. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a metal drill bit. Okay, and I'll tell you, this is one and a half mil. One and a half. It's extremely small. And all I need is to just give me access to the tin so that I don't bend the tin trying to screw in the hook so when I do it you guys will understand so I'll find the center of the tin just like that just a very, very, very small hole. I'll just screw the hook in. So you don't want to drill a hole too big that this one won't be tight. Let's see if I can show you guys. See, 
is quite a tight fit I'm putting quite a bit of pressure there so that means that when you hook it on the Christmas tree you know the hook is not going to come off uh, so this is how it looks like see there there you go now my hot glue gun is ready and I'm just going to apply quite a generous amount of glue 